I'm in fucking Central Valley. I gotta park. I gotta rest. I've been freaking driving like I drove. A, and it took like nine hours to get up there. She was wonderful. They're really happy. Um, yeah, I was just lucky. I'm the luckiest. I'm so grateful to God. You have no idea how grateful to God I am. I'm putting the camera here and holding it in my hand because if I do this, it just you can't see my beautiful face, right? So, anyways, this is for who? Alcifa. Alcifa, this is for you. Like now. Being the guy that you are on your knees for XRP, I'm curious to, to help you uh, 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 help you tell the viewers out there why I'm so retarded. Like, you're really high on this XRP thing, but if you take into consideration what XLM is doing con comparatively, I, I don't know what you're thinking, dude. Help us. Help us like realize how smart you are and how retarded I am. Like, first, fucking, we know Jeb is in charge of uh, 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 Stella. Or kind of founded it, you know, because he was part of X, uh, XRP and how that went. He's, you know, holding a bunch of tokens that people are like, really, whatever. Fucking, uh, you know, and then also Jeb's experience with Mt. Cox. Wow, fucking world. Anyways, I'm talking about what's coming up and what's just recently happened. With XLM compared to XRP. First off, XR, XLM is here in California. They're not running from nobody. What's XRP doing? What's Brad Curlinghouse threatening to do? Um, secondly, fucking, uh, what's going on with the idea of what everybody thinks of, uh, uh, a non-for-profits versus for-profits, XLM, not-for-profit, XRP, for-profit, right? So, with that being said, like, uh, 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 why would, why would we even care, right? Um, the other thing that, um, is super significant, uh, USDC is coming out on, uh, the XLM, uh, the, the Stella Network, and Visa is going to be working in uh, USDC. And being that USDC is going to be on XLM, XL, XLM operates uh, where the fees are charged in XLM. So with 60 million users on the Visa network using USDC, I'm um, having the ability to use USDC um, for a stable token. And every time they use it, there's a fee. How's that going to affect the XLM price, Right. And XRP, what are they, what are they, what? <laughs> like Brad Garlinghouse talking to that prostitute over there at CNBC, the one everybody wants to pine. Yeah, that's going to pump XLM. That's what you're all about, huh, Alcifa? Um, fucking, uh, what else is going on? The woman who they placed in charge, I can't remember the broad's name. She's, you know, older, kind of attractive. So she's, like, third quarter of this year, she's had, like, 20 meetings. 20 meetings with, like, the World Economic Forum, the uh, 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 WEF, uh, uh, World Trade Organization, WTO. They've all sat on panels in regards to this. Why? XLM's going to have a huge ability to, tra like, monitor all the transactions of the world. They've set that up as a non-profit. Dude, I know there's way more I can't remember, but uh, what I really want is to hear you say my first name. And yell at me and tell me how stupid I am. And let the world know how smart you are insofar as explaining why the the topics that I bring up. Not the ones about Jeb and his past and how many XL, XRP he holds. You know, and how, how much influence he still has with in consideration of that. And how XLM burned all those 55 billion tokens. Right? And then the 30 billion they had left that uh, people weren't holding... How they're being, how transparent they're being with what they're doing with them, is that was that what Brad does? Is that what Brad does? Huh? Speak about that. Speak about the USDC relationship with uh, Visa and uh, 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 that it's going to be on XLM. People all laughed at me over there on Drunk on Crypto. Who's the joke on, boys? Huh, boys? Talk to me, Alcifa. Talk to me, son.